Hello stamping friends, Brenda Hillard here at Create with Brenda. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am located in North Central Minnesota. And it is another snowy, blowy, icky spring day here. So I decided to come to you with a card idea that happened yesterday. So yesterday I posted a video doing a mini slimline that was inspired by Crafty Al. So go back and check that out. Looks like this. <laughs> Excuse me. And I started paper piecing um, the dies from the Artfully Composed Suite, which then led me to another card idea, which is why I'm here today. And so this is kind of like season one episode two it's kind of like my own my own mini series here on the artfully composed bundle but anyway today I'm going to show you how I did this card and I really love it I think you will too so is what I'm using is the artfully composed paper and I use the back side of this one so I've got these little polka dots here and I chose the artfully layered with the tropical layered dies. So this is a nine piece die set. I used this fern type die. I used the leaf. And then I also used this leafy branch. So those three dies on the card. And then Oh, and there's another die too. It's an edge die, and I'm going to show you that um, in use. And then um, I also chose the inside sentiment, which I love this font. It's like being awesome is just your thing. And that comes from the happy and heartfelt. So, a couple of things. From what I can tell, with the retiring list and I do have the brand new annual catalog in my hot hands um it looks to me like the artfully layered or the artfully composed bundle with the dies did not carry over and I do not believe the happy and heartfelt sayings are going to carry over either but now that's just a um that's just an educated guess on my part. The actual list, if there's going to be any add-on carryovers, has not been posted. But I don't think these two are. And they're currently available in the um, January to June mini catalog. So if these are anything that you're interested in, you should grab them now. Because as with the world we're living in, we all are getting to understand that while supplies are available or while supplies last so that's the motto i'm going with here at create with brenda let's get started with our project here is a basic black card base this is standard five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter i have a medium or a2 size envelope I have a piece of designer series paper. Remember I told you I used the back side of this print. I wanted those little black and white dots. I had die cut using soft succulent. I also had die cut using pear pizzazz. I have a die cut of the leaf. And you have to cut it twice. So you cut it once in basic black so that you get this piece and then you cut it once with and I used bumblebee that's one of the retiring in colors so I get these pieces to fill in my leaf okay I have a little strip of this is half inch by um, three and three quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white that measures three and three quarter by five. You will need a scrap of basic black. 
and you'll also need a one inch let me grab it here one inch by three and three quarter inch strip of basic white so let's start with this okay i want to bring in my sentiment and that again comes from the artfully layered i'm using happiest birthday wishes with the memento black ink I'm just going to ink that up really well moving it around on my ink pad so I get a nice even layer and then I'm just going to set it down here on my strip of basic white so there's our sentiment and while I have this out I may as well bring in our insert and I've got the being awesome is just your thing. And again, that came from the happy and heartfelt. I'm going to move that around on my ink pad, getting it inked up evenly. And then I'm just going to put that right in the center here. So there's our inside sentiment. That little font just makes me happy every time I stamp with the stamp set. Okay. That's it for stamping. How easy was that, right? All right. So, if we bring in our card base, I'm just going to fold this and give it a good crease with our bone folder. I'm going to take my stamp and seal and give that a little bit of adhesive at the top and I'm just going to put that right in on the inside of our card just centering it up the best I can then I'm going to take my piece of designer series paper and I'm going to add adhesive and put that right on my card front here just like that and now here's the part I was telling you about earlier. So I have this piece of um, scrap piece of basic black. And when I started out, this measured approximately um, one and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay. So it's what I did. This edge die, which is beautiful. It's got the stitching and the zigzag, comes in the one of the dies in the tropical layer dies so back to this and this is part of that set okay so is what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my happiest birthday wishes i'm going to add my adhesive and then i'm going to put that right on here and i want it so that it's edge to edge And just a little bit above the stitch line on here. Now let's bring in our stamp and cut and emboss mini. Hopefully you got in on the deal last month with the mini. I want platform one, cutting plate two. Actually, this is my bottom plate, as you can see by all the marks on there. And then I'm going to lay this down and I'm just going to set this so that the edge of the border die lays against the edge of my sentiment. Okay. And I'm going to put this down, inch it, and we'll just roll it through. Now, I know I've said this a million times, but if this is the first time you have tuned in to paper crafting or first time you've tuned in with me, when you put your plates into this mini, you want to make sure that you stagger your plates. You don't want them all lined up like this to start because it won't feed through properly. You want to make sure that you have them staggered and then 
they'll roll right through for you. Okay? All right. So oh. now our piece looks like this. Isn't it cute? Okay. So we're going to put the adhesive in the back. And I first of all want to add my my die cut pieces here. So I'm going to add this one first and I'm going to use my liquid glue. And I'm just going to add wow, does that come out fast? That's what happens sometimes, right? And it is a new bottle of glue too. That that makes it I don't want that much glue. And I did get a little bit on my work surface too. So, so what I'm going to do is bring in my silicone mat. I'm going to set it down and kind of wipe some of that off. All right. Then that can just dry on my silicone mat and I can rub it off very easily later. Great. I'm going to put that one here facing off to the right. Let's try this again using way less glue. And this one I really just kind of put glue in the very center and a few just a few small dots out to the edges and I'm going to make that so that these stems kind of match up down here. And they can overlap a little bit. That's good. Then I want to have a sheet of, I could use the black dimensionals, that'll work. So it's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this, I have my seal on the back, and I'm just going to match up the edge because this should very easily fit right across our designer series paper like that. So now remember I told you I've got that die cut piece in basic black and I've got my two pieces from when I cut with the with the bumblebee and again this was using that leaf from the tropical layers dies so when you cut it with this you get this full shape and you get two pieces like this So now is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay these in here like that, like puzzle pieces. And this happened when I was working on a video I posted yesterday and all of a sudden these leaves came together and it was like, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I want to make a card with that. So now I'm going to add some dimensionals. And as what this is going to do is just it's going to hold the outline shape and it's going to hold those two side pieces, the two filler pieces. So now by pressing down, it holds all of this together. How pretty is that, right? Think of all the color combos you could do using that. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool, pick off my um, wax paper backings and now I can just kind of set this right in here on my scene so there's my card I love it it's so like it's very there's great color contrast there's lots of Lots of places that your eyes move on this card, and I love that. So right now I'm taking these black matte dots. These are probably, they rank right up in my top 10 for embellishments, that's for sure. Added a couple of those, and then on the inside, being awesome is just your thing. And then, as you know, there is always this rule here at Create with Brenda. No naked envelopes. So I'm going to add some adhesive to the paper strip. Place it right here on my envelope. And then 
I have this fun little coordinating envelope and card. Be sure to comment and like on my video today. I love looking back for the comments. It also helps my viewers and my subscribers grow. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe by pressing the button down below. Have a great day, everybody, and until next time, bye-bye.